Right guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm just going to uh, be showing you if it's possible to fit an 1134 rear cassette to your bike with a short cage rear derailleur. So we go ahead and we get into it. Right, so here we have this short cage rear derailleur there. This just happens to be an R8000 Ultegra short cage. And there's, as you can see, 1134 cassette. Also happens to be an Ultegra R8000. So go ahead, and we'll get these fitted and see if it's possible to use them together. Right, so there we have the 34 on the back with the short cage. Now, if you was running, say you was running an 1125 or an 1128 and you wanted a 34 on the back, then when you're purchasing a new cassette, like I did with a new chain, get yourself a new chain, and you'd have to resize the chain because your chain, what was on there before, wouldn't be long enough to run the 34. If you was jumping up from a, uh, a 25 or 28, then you'd need extra links. If you was running a 32, say, like I was on there before, and you're just jumping up to a 34, then the chain length, you can use the same chain length, and it won't make any difference, the chain length. You could add a link if you wanted to, but it works fine with the same chain on there. And all you'd have to do is if you was moving up, what you've got to remember is the only adjustment you need to make from from the derailleur point of view is if you was moving up from say a 28 or a 32 even, you've got to tweak the B screw at the back here, two mil hex head just there. Now you have to screw that clockwise to move it over because you'll find when you're changing down the gears like so, then if you was running like a 25 before, it would stop the top jockey wheel would interfere before it got to the 34. So it would stop somewhere here, so you'd have to screw the B screw clockwise just to move it down so there's enough gap between the top jockey wheel and the 34 sprocket for the chain to pass through. So you want an like 8 mil gap, something like that, just so the chain will pass through there without interfering in any way. So the two interfering together, you don't want. So that's all you've got to do, adjust your B screw. High and low screw, I haven't touched any of that at all. All I've done is, like I said, I feared the dry lip if you've already got one feared. Then obviously you're just going to put the cassette on with a new chain, it pays to run a new chain if you're putting a brand new cassette on anyway. You may have to resize your chain depending on what you had on there before. But will it work? Yes it works fine. Plenty of adjustment left on the B screw so there's plenty of uh, room. You don't need a long cage if you want to put a 34 on. Just use your short cage. Right so there we have the 34 on there with the short cage. So I'll just run it up for you. We start on the 11, that's on the uh, 34 at the front, so we just, just got through the gears there, just to show you. So there is on the 34, and the uh, 34 at the uh, back as well, so, so it works fine. So, Plenty of adjustment on the short case radio to run the 34, no problem at all. Right, so here we have the uh, two cassettes, the ratios there. So obviously a 34 cassette being on the left, 32 cassette on the right. So there you go. That's the differences in the gear in between the two. So you can pause that and have a look at that. Right, so there it is, fear behind me, the 34 cassette on the short case radio. Um, so you can go ahead now, fit one to your bike, if you was worried before that it wouldn't work, it does, works absolutely fine. So remember to subscribe to the channel for more cycle related content, give the video a thumbs up, till the next one, ride safe and I'll see you then.